hello friends we have came with yet another video on applied mechanics and today in this video we will determine the moment of inertia for right angle triangle as shown in the figure having base b and height is h okay so we will determine the moi of this right angle triangle firstly we will determine the moment of inertia of this right angle triangle about base yeah that is the x axis and y axis and after knowing the moment of inertia about base we will determine the moment of inertia about the centroidal x and y axis of the figure that is of the figure of right angle triangle okay so this right angle triangle is passing through origin having equation y equals to mx okay so you, we can use the in conditions we can use the boundary conditions so that we can get easily the value of am that is slope and using this boundary condition x equals to b and y equals to h yes, we can easily get that we we can easily get the value of m slope isn't it so the equation of the straight line can be written in the form of y equals to hx by b isn't it likewise friends the area of this right angle triangle we all know that 1 by 2 base into height now friends we need to determine the moment of inertia about base that is x axis about x axis of this right angle triangle so for the calculation of moment of inertia about base that is x axis we need to take a strip we need to take a strip as shown in the figure so so that we can easily apply the formula of moment of inertia about base that is the x axis ix equals to integration of y square times da so we have to make the strip as shown in the figure so friends always remember that while determining the moment of inertia about x axis we generally take the strip that is parallel to x axis so that we can have that y in the figure okay so this is the way we can take the strip now let us see in the strip let us see it in the strip the strip is of thickness or width dy and the length of this strip is b minus x isn't it so this is the x distance and this is total b and if you subtract b minus b with x then it will be b minus x so we can easily apply the formula isn't it now we can easily apply the formula moment of inertia about base ix equals to integration of y square times da so this is y square and this is da da is what da is the area of the elemental strip that you have considered okay now now and the y y is the perpendicular distance y is the distance from the base to the considered strip okay so we will substitute the values of da so da in this case is dy times this b minus x so we will just substitute all these things and if we and we will just solve this expression isn't it so there is y and this is in terms of dy so this is in terms of y so we have to remember that we have to change x in terms of y and we have to take limit so when we are taking limit so since this is along y axis dy is along y axis then the limit will be from 0 to s so if you solve this then you will be getting the moment of inertia about base that is x axis is equals to b h cube by 12 okay this is about this base likewise friends if we are calculating the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis then we have to use the parallel axis theorem isn't it so parallel axis theorem states that the moment of inertia about base ix can be written as ixx plus ah square isn't it so if you just interchange it and solve it then you will get the value of ixx so in this case we have to determine h h is the perpendicular distance from this base to the centroid isn't it so the centroid we have to determine the location of the centroid so when you are moving along y axis centroid is located at h by 3 distance from this x axis so we will substitute the value of h as h by 3 and we can easily get the value of 
I axis that is moment of inertia about centroidal x axis of this right angle triangle. Now friends our task is to find the moment of inertia about y axis. So we need to determine the moment of inertia about this y axis and we all know that the moment of inertia about y axis is given by iy equals to integration of x square times dA. Okay. So we need to take the strip as shown in the figure so that we can easily apply the formula. Okay. So we have considered strip that is parallel to y axis so that we can easily have the perpendicular distance x here and we have considered the thickness or width of the strip as dx and we know that this length or this height is y at any particular instant of x. So we will use the formula for moment calculation of moment of inertia about, cent, uh, about base that is about y axis and when we have ca uh, calculated the moment of inertia about base then we will use the formula for parallel axis theorem in order to get the moment of inertia about centroidal y axis. So we have the formula i y equals to integration of x square dA and dA in this case is dx times y okay and dx is along x axis obviously the limit will be running from 0 to b so if you know all these things you can easily solve the values of i y so in this case the value of i y is h b cube by 4 that is about base so this is about this base okay now we have to use the parallel axis theorem for determining the moment of inertia about the centroidal about the centroidal y axis so about the centroidal y axis we need to apply parallel axis theorem so parallel axis theorem we all know that i y equals to i y y plus a h square where a is the area of the uh, figure that is right angle triangle and h is the perpendicular distance or what we can say is the distance between the centroid of this right angle triangle to the y axis okay so this distance is h so in this case the centroid is located at distance what two third of b so centroid is located two third of b so we will just substitute all these values and we can easily get the value of i y y as h b cube by 36 so friend this is the way we can solve or we can derive the relations of moment of inertia about x and y axis that is about base and how we can apply the parallel axis theorem for getting the moment of inertia about centroidal x and y axis and this type of uh, derivations are very much important in university level examinations